Okay, so this is going to be the updated video on how to use the single battery holder dot pin. Uh, these are available on my Etsy. It's N. Jones Tattooist. This is what you get. Uh, first step is get a battery, AAA. I recommend Energizer Ultimate Lithium. Those are the strongest batteries you can get. They're a little bit uh, expensive, but it's it's worth it. Uh, Duracell Optimum is pretty good, and then obviously you can use rechargeables too. You'll notice there's a little rubber band around the battery holder. That's just to kind of keep it held in place during shipping. And also, I recommend keeping it on there just to hold your rubber band down or hold your battery down. Kind of like that. All right, so put your battery in. If you want to, you can click it in all the way or you can leave it slightly out like that. That just makes it easier to get out when you're, when you're not using it. Um, that's what it looks like. And if you have it in like that, you can actually just pull it out a little bit and the rubber band will hold it in so there's there it's off but it's still pretty convenient okay next step uh oh and before i go to the next step first of all this is a dot pen that i recommend for a certain type of work this is only good for slow soft work so for fine pens for um gel pens etc if you want to do ballpoint and faster work, you're going to want to get a power supply too. And having said that, what I'm going to do is recommend if you buy this, buy a power supply too. It's $20. This is what they look like. You get them on Amazon. It comes with a clip cord and a foot switch. You know, I modified my foot switch to where it's always on. Um, there's a video on how to do that on my YouTube. Uh, but this is $20 and what it does is it allows you to go from anywhere from 1.5 volts as high as you want to go This only does 1.5 volts. That's what a battery is And so I'll show you kind of what you can do with this one And maybe show you a little bit of what you can do with the power supply, too Okay, so hold on first. We're gonna put a pan in there. So this is gonna be a 01 micron I'll just show you a little example how to put it in the big thing that people do is they hang way too much out the bottom they'll hang that much out that is not necessary and it's actually harder so just hang a little bit out the bottom of the holder there um, when it comes you'll notice there's no rubber band on the top of the needle bar here like my other dot pins it only has this one here around the wing nut that's the one you're going to use. And the reason why is because if you use two rubber bands on this thing, it won't even turn on. The battery is just simply not strong enough. So what you do is you take the rubber band off this side of the wing nut, give it a nice good stretch. You want it nice and loose, wrapped around the top of the pen. That'll hold it in place. Snap the battery back in. You might have to give it a little one of these with your finger to get it going. And what this rubber band here is doing is keeping the pen from wobbling all over the place. If that rubber band's not on there, here I'll show you. See how the pen kind of wobbles? That's due to the fact that at the top it's going side to side. And so that translates a little bit down to the bottom. It makes it wiggle a little bit, but this takes care of it. And get it close in here. You can see those are nice clean little dots, very small micron, and it doesn't do a lot of damage to the pen. Also, this is a piece of foam board I'm working on, which I probably should have told you. If you do it on a sheet of paper on a hard countertop, that little nib on the pen is going to be bent right away and so if you're or when you're drawing pretty much all the time say you're drawing on a another piece of paper put it down on a piece of foam board you can get it, this piece of foam board from the dollar store for you know or the i should call it the dollar 25 store for about 25 and i just keep that as my surface for everything i do so if you're doing a piece of paper on top of it, it'll, it'll help it cushion the blow and help preserve your pen tip. Okay, um, that's a micron. A 
let's see what a gel pen does. Same thing with the gel pen, very little hanging out the bottom, just like that. Wrap our rubber band around it, stretch it out first, snap it in. We're going to work on some black paper. This is just black poster board, once again, from the dollar store. We'll get it going first. You see it's nice, clean dots. Let me zoom in on that. It's hard to see, but... Nice, clean dots. Nice and soft. Okay, now, supposing you, this is why I generally don't push it in all the way, it's kind of hard to get out. Um, I'm going to show you the difference when you're using the power supply. So the cool thing about this is that if you have the power supply, you can still use a clip cord, which comes with the power supply. Um, so you, you got your rubber band down there. And then the other thing too, because once you're working with more power, you're gonna want more stability with the pen. So here, let's do this before. What I recommend doing is adding the rubber band to the top. So you put it around that little thing in the back, bring it up, twist it around, and put it around the other side. So it crosses right there in the middle. Now, if you had it set up like that, you probably wouldn't even get it to turn with the battery. I don't know if you can or not, probably not. Yeah, it barely does, but that's just not enough to do anything. So let's get that battery out of there for now. See, with the power supply, you can go down to nothing. And that's about two volts. And I'll show you the difference when it comes to dot work. So for ballpoint pens, I actually prefer the power supply at about two volts. Because then you can kind of, you can, you can go faster and you can kind of beat it up a little bit. You don't have to be so careful. That's kind of banging off the side there. Yeah, I'm going to pull a little bit tighter. With the, as long as you have a power supply, you can pull it as tight as you want. And the tighter it is, the less noise it's going to make. Turn it up a little bit. See those dots? It's nice, round, perfect little dots. So that's why you want a power supply too. Unless you're just doing those, you know, really delicate type of type of art. Okay, I think that's about it. If I think of anything else, I'll add it to the video. Thanks.